Charles Simons, uh, retired out as a lieutenant, U.S. Navy. Went through the whole enlisted pay grades before I got to be commissioned. Got transferred to the Plymouth Rock LSD 29. Well, I'd already been on LSD 6 was the first one I was on. There was a major improvement 30 years later, not 30 years, 15 years later, but Gator Freighters still aren't the way to go, but first of all, well, first of all, you got to deal with Marines because you got to take them out to sleep, you know. So if you can't find any entertainment, you can always find a Marine to mess with. But the, the places you go, you end up, you used to pick them up in Moorhead City, North Carolina, take them down to a little island off Puerto Rico, Viegas, you leave them off, they'd make a run in there, you'd float around for four or five days, then you come back and you pick them back up. But you got to ballast down and set them there, and then they bring the mic boats up into the back and the tanks and all this crap, you know. And, but you have to put up with them. Right? And you don't really see any ports. It's basically just training. So it is, LSDs are not the best to be in the world. Picked up a commission. I made chief when I was on the Fox. Picked up a commission on the LSD 29. Well, I couldn't make E9. I tried it three times and it got quoted out. One time they only rated six, one time they rated eight. I forgot what it was the last time. So my track record really wasn't that good booth because I, I, I was old Navy and we had the new Navy coming in and if kidneys would be jacked up, I jacked them up and stuff like this. So the XO and the CO weren't too impressed with me. I had a kid throw papers on, I told him to pick them up and he didn't. So I stuffed his head down and I, you know, and the XO and I had had words and everything else, and it was a big joke. He said, with your, your record, Simon, why don't you try for LDO? And I said, yeah, go ahead. Now, the senior chief of the command, he was also the personnel office. He called me up three days later. He said, I got your paperwork ready. You got to take it up to the CO and get it signed. So, <laughs> so I took it up there, and they have highly recommended, recommended, or not recommended. And the only the captain said, I'm not highly recommending you for nothing. So, all right, so he, he did put recommended. And then they sent it off and there was 14 guys that applied for LDO and there's two of us that made it. And I was one of them. And I mean, that was a big joke down in the Chiefs quarters. Of course, when I get down to the Chiefs quarters, when they found out I made it, my rack was pulled apart, my sea bag was out there and said, officers keep out, you know. Now I'd lived there with these guys for a year, you know, but it was a big joke. But. I left there and went to OCS school and MPA school and all that. And now I'm a new boot camp ensign. And now I report on a hill away. The only problem with being an LDO is now you're an ensign and every other ensigns in the Navy are all 22, 23 years old. And here you're 34, 33, 34. And anybody your age is lieutenant commander commanders. So nobody wants to talk to you there because you're only an ensign. And nobody else wants to hang, you don't want to hang with them because they're all college kids, you know. So now the LDOs, limited duty officers and the warrants, have, they hang together. So, you know, it didn't bother me because I didn't much care. But, and as an LDO, nobody really messed with you because you've already proved yourself up through the ranks. You've been a chief petty officer for three or four years, so, and a senior chief, so big deal. Left Newport, Rhode Island, got transferred to the USS Kilauea.